you very much, Jerry. Hey, Tyler, how much are you guys, uh, uh, I don't know, looking back on the way the defense finished last year, the last three games especially, uh, a couple of linebackers said that the coaches had you guys, or had them at least, looking at video from those last three games, the way things kind of got a little bit loose uh, near the end of the year. And how much are you all inspired to sort of tighten that up as this season starts? Jerry, I can't hear Tyler. Tim, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna claim operator error on our part there. We'll take him off mute now. I Go expect ahead, it to be operator error on your part. Go ahead now, Tyler. <laughs> oh yeah, we're just looking forward to to being the best team that we can this year. You know, last year things didn't quite go as planned. And now those last three games, as you say, you think things got a little loose. Uh, I think a couple of players can agree to that. So this year we're just trying to set a new standard to be the best thing we can be. Thank you, man. Next up, Andy Anders with Press Pros and Spencer Holbrook on deck. Andy? Uh, yeah, so um, at, at defensive end, how have you been preparing for the season to you know, step into more of a rotational role? It seems like you'll be getting more reps. And just what have you done to prepare this season? Uh, really just changed my body around. You know, a big part of my off season was getting my body fat down and increasing my flexibility. So I think those two things really helped me just uh, develop into a better player, you know, just play my role in this defense. Gotcha. Thank you. Next up, Spencer Holbrook from Letterman Row with Jeremy Birmingham on deck. Spencer? Hey, Tyler. Do you think uh, you you could play both – defensive end and three tech and, and how do you think uh, how do you think those two positions kind of how do you think you would play in each of those positions differently uh yeah I think I could definitely do both uh, I think you guys will see some stuff coming up this year later on in the season that we got planned for uh, moving me inside and out and I, I think the pass rusher part is a little different but I think that my size and my weight and my strength uh, gives me the ability to move inside as well Thank you. Next up, Jeremy Birmingham, Letterman Row with Pat Murphy on deck. Jeremy? Hey, Tyler. Heading into this season, how prepared do you feel like you guys are as a group to, to make that step? Because you have a bunch of guys like yourself and, and Javante and Zach and Tyreek, but none of those superstars that we've uh, sort of been accustomed to here. What is the step that you feel like you have to take to get there without that big name? Um, the key thing that Coach Jay keeps telling us, the most excited part about the season, that we're a bunch of no-names. You know, we don't have a Bosa, we don't have a Chase Young right now, but that's just how we like it. You know, we never stopped working ever since that last game last year against Clemson. And I think uh, especially Javante, Zach, Tyreek, and Coop and myself, I think we took that personal as far as being the best defensive ends that we can be. Next up, Pat Murphy with 24-7 Sports and Nathan Baird on deck. Pat? Zach was just talking to us about how much you guys learn from each other and the, you know, watching each other in practice, those type of things. Um, can you just talk about what you see from, from other guys and how you take little bits of, of other people's games to add to your own, so to speak? The thing that's so exciting about our DNs is that we got flavors. You know, everybody, everybody brings something different to the table. You know, Javante is Zach with their, their speed and their length. You know, Coop with his ability to, to control the line of scrimmage with his strength and also get off the ball. Tyreek, he's just so explosive overall. You know, it's just so switchy. You know, so we all got these different things that we bring to the table and they all work out well now. Next up, Nathan Baird with Cleveland.com and Brendan Gulick on deck. Nathan? Hey, Tyler, why can Tyreek Smith have a breakthrough season this year? You said, why can he? Yeah, why can he? Why, why, why would you expect him to have one? Just for Tyree Smith being Tyree Smith, you know, I feel like if Tyree Smith was a starter anywhere else, he'll already be that big name. You know what I'm saying? Like Tyree, the way he gets off the ball is just something beautiful to watch. You know, I, mean, I tell him every day, <laughs> that's, that's some of the craziest get-ups I've seen, you know. And the Chase and Nick has been here. I've seen both of them play. And I tell Tyreek, I was like, man, you got it. You got it. So, yeah, I could definitely see Tyreek emerging into that star. Next up, Brandon Gulick, Buckeyes now on SI with Austin Ward on deck. Brandon? 
Hey, Tyler, when it was announced that the uh, season was coming back now, obviously several weeks ago, who was your first, uh, your first phone call when you found out the season was coming back and, and what was that conversation like? Uh, my first phone call was actually to the DNs. We had like a group FaceTime call and it's go time now. That was basically what the message was because we never took our foot off the gas. Even when we couldn't come into the facility, we was trying to find ways to work out any field we can. You know, from getting kicked off the field to being on the field any time of the night that we can just to get some work in. You know, we've been waiting for this. So we just, once we got that phone call, it was just, all right, we locked in now. That we always have been. So you guys weren't together as a group. You were, you were separate. Nah, they, yeah, this is over FaceTime call. Okay. And we'll have two more questioners for Tyler uh, up next. Austin Ward from Letterman Row with Dan Hope on deck. Austin? Tyler, you've been around Coach Jay long enough to know how much he uh, loves that three-tech position and kicking, you know, ends inside to get a pass rushing threat. If that's something that you could do, how much does that excite you given the way that, you know, he's, he's developed some other guys and turned them loose in that spot? I mean, that excites me a lot because I see it. I see how Taquan was able to do it. I see how Nick moved inside sometimes, and, you know, and I, I saw the plan he had for them. And when I first came in, they told me I had a similar body type to Taquan. So I already kind of expected that as I developed into a better player. So, now, yeah, I'm just excited what Coach Jay has in store for me. And final questions of the afternoon uh, uh, for our group and also uh, individually for Tyler Friday come from Dan Hope with 11 Warriors. Dan? Hey, Tyler, who are some of the younger guys on the defensive line that you're seeing – start to step up and maybe be able to start contributing this year? Uh, Darion Henry, he's one that's, that's coming a long way. You know, when he first came here to the play he is now, that's, that's a big difference. You know, of course, they still have work to do. And uh, we, have, we have about five rotating D linemen right now with the DNs that could possibly be starters. You know what I mean? So we got a lot of older guys that could play as well. But the young guys, they're coming along as they should be. You know, Noah Potter, he's doing his thing over there on the practice field, trying to earn as many reps as he can. So, uh, yeah, the young guys are coming along well. Thanks, Tyler. Tyler, thanks so much for your comments today. Thanks for taking time to meet with